Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's the Jaguars going up against the Colts. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this week three matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the AFC South as we join you from Everbank Stadium. Down on the sidelines, there's a look at Chuck Pagano. His guys are excited to be back on the field trying to erase the stench of the blowout loss a week ago. And on the other side, it's the former Seattle defensive coordinator, head coach Gus Bradley. His team will look for win number one here in week three. Lee's going to be back deep here on the opening kick. And Pat McAfee looks ready to get this one underway. the 23. Friars, of course, going to be the man at quarterback today. Now an experienced quarterback with four years under his belt. First down coming up. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. And a gain of four. Here's our look at the Jaguars' offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Quarterback did not get the snap in time. That'll be a delay of game. With the penalty, it's now second down and 11. Priors lining up in the pistol. Bennett's a receiver in the slot. Down the field. And it's incomplete. And here's the Colts defense. They never got to the quarterback once last week. Third down snap coming up. This was their bugaboo a week ago, failing to convert time and time again. Third and 11. Screen. It's Lee. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. They are close enough to a first to go for it here on fourth down. Offense lines up here. The Jaguars take it from the 33. Good piece of tackling. The Colts defense has to be demoralized by that fourth down conversion allowed. I think any time on the defensive side when you give up a fourth down conversion, it is heartbreaking, and it has to be heartbreaking for the defense right now. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Pryor comes out in the pistol. Looking to the right side and throwing. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. 
So with that play, they move into enemy territory and driving here early stages. Well, look, I I'm going to blame the defense. They're being so passive. you got to go out there and take some chances. If you don't, this offense is going to keep marching down the field. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. That second down coming up. Bennett's going to get set in go. the slot Watch for this now. snap. They hand it off to him again. Taken down at the 39. When you're an offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Pryor set in the pistol. Third down and four. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Number 13 on the run. Loss of three. The offense is going to stay on the field now for this fourth and seven. Bennett's lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll fire it out to the left. That's a gain of 10. The Colts might have been caught off guard there on that fourth down play. Well, why? Why would you be caught off guard in a situation like this? You always have to be ready on the defensive side. That time they were midway through the first. Go we'll run it. Here's the handoff. Gene Francois that time in on the tackle. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Mounting a serious drive. The long drive continues. Getting away from the pressure. It's wide open. Brought down after a gain of 15. Oh, the coach is going, hey, nice job, son, nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. Marching down the field and taking their time. First and 10. They give it to him on the counter for about four. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down coming up. What a drive this has been. He's looking to the right. Jacksonville is in for the score. Touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. The Jaguars now going for the point after. He made it. The Colts are ready to return the kick. He'll take it from the one. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Lux coming on to the field now, having found his mark last week on over 50% of his throws. They come to the line, and it's first down. there to make the tackle now here's a look at the Colts 
offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Hand off to the outside. Richardson picks up about five. Here's the Jaguars' defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Now third and four following the run. Wayne's lined up in the slot. Luck will take the snap from the gun. Throw to the left. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. <laughs> McAfee will be called on now to punt the football. Lee's going to look for space now. That picks up 11. First down, offense readying for the snap. The Colts come out in a dime package. Justin Blackman hauls it in. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw. A nice throw and catch just short of the first down. The Jaguars right now are returning the favor in this game. They were beaten up badly last week. And now they've turned it around and they've just cruised to this point, Phil. Yeah, they've done a good job, Jim, and what they've done, they just said to heck with it. Let's go out there and fight. And that's what you have to do in the NFL to win. They are fighting hard. Let's see if they can pull this one out. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it here. Mathis in on the tackle. That leads us to second down. The Colts with two extra defensive backs in the dime. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Third and ten. He's got the catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This is called managing the football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? you got to lead. It's close. It's fourth down. It's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. The offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing four to stay on the field. Let's go! Lamont Landry with an interception. Running room. Indianapolis is in the end zone. Touchdown. Indianapolis. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly, you make the catch, and you take it all the way back for the score. Ball's on the tee. Got a tie game now. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Colts are ready to kick it away. Robinson's going to test the coverage here. And he 
Williams on the sidelines and out of bounds. The Jaguars come onto the field for their next series. Pryor's going to be in the here pistol go. here. First down at the 20. To the ground. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Jaguars in the pistol formation. Priors setting up now in the pistol. Running away from the pressure. And the throw, it's incomplete. Third down on the way. Priors lining up in the pistol. The give. Middle. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Herbert is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Bennett's in the slot. First down at the 31. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. The Jaguars line up in the pistol. Pryor comes out in the pistol. Second down and five. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Pryor set in the pistol. Third down and five. He's into the open. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Pryor is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down here after the run. The Jaguars come out in the pistol. And now he'll take off. Looking to go deep. Makes the play. That was a big game by the offense, and that's what this league is about. We talk about so many things. Oh, play good defense, don't turn it over, but it's about big plays. you got to take chances down the field. The quarterback was willing to do it that time, and he made it happen. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Second down here after that run play. The Jaguars line up in the pistol offense. Pryor's going to be in the pistol here. Good coverage by Butler that time as the pass goes incomplete. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Jaguars will go with the pistol on this play. The Jaguars have it at the 24. They run the counter play. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This will be a field goal attempt from 37 yards out. The kick is good. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Hilton's going to run this one out. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Hilton's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Richardson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. An open lane. Lux tackled down after a gain of seven. 
It's now second down. Andrew Luck under center. Gets the handle here. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Richardson's able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. Lux lined up, two tight end set. Throwing now to his left. Allen's got the first as he's brought down. Lux able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer, gets himself in very good position to throw the football. The Colts are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. First down at the 45. Richardson. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Richardson lined up in the backfield. The Colts come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. The Colts take it from the 43. Muscles through the defender. No one's going to get him now. Nix is tackled down. Nicholas is the injured player and will take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. From the shotgun. Throws to the right. Colby Fleener hauls it in. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Jaguars team official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. They're going to get him here for a sack. Now, this is about as bad as it gets for a quarterback in a situation like this. You're near the goal line, and they give you a chance to throw the football, and you take a sack. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't want to be him in that film session tomorrow. Second and goal from the nine. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Touchdown, of course. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Jaguars can perhaps get the big return and do something here before halftime. They're suddenly trailing the scores 14 to 10. Lee's running this one out. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Pryor's setting up now in the pistol. Here's the handoff, taking it up the middle. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Priors lining up Orlando, in the pistol. Orlando, let's round, let's round. The Jaguars come out in the pistol. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. Quarterbacks love throwing the football against cover three. They're, the defense is trying to stop the big pass plays down the field. So you can clearly see when somebody's around the receiver, throw it out there near the... Before we go any further, they're going to take another look at the last play. There's 
no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must, must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. So the boys in the booth, they want to make doubly sure the call was correct. Under two minutes, they decided, hey, we, we need to take another look at this. But the play stands as is. Yeah, Jim, it was a good challenge upstairs by the officials. Uh, it was not clear cut. But once we have seen the play in slow motion replay, well, now it's clear cut now. First down at the 40. Set up screen. Got a big lane. Touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. They got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Jaguars now going for the point after. Count it. The Colts in position. Not much time left here in the first half. Where they're now on the losing end of things. The scores 17 to 14. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. at the 21. <laughs> the Colts ready to take over the football. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Second down here. The teams head to the locker room and we'll be heading to the studio to our pal Larry Ridley as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Jaguars have picked up their passing attack after last week's game. The Colts haven't had a good answer for that so far, but will need one in order to come away with a win here today. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Jaguars have it at the seven. Pryor's on point with the throw, and he kept off the long drive with the TD. The Jaguars now on top. Third down at the 47. Pryor's throw under pressure leads to the turnover. Colts will end up returning it for a TD. The Colts tied up at seven. Late in the second, Nick's got the catch here, and he capped off the long drive with a touchdown. They're now on top by four. Still late stages of the second. The quick pass, it's complete, and it leads to a touchdown. That puts them up by a field goal. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Everbank Field for the start of the second half. Luck will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Richardson lined up in the backfield. It's Bleeder brought down after a gain of six. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. And here we have second down. Rodgers, a receiver in the slot. 
Luck out of the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down here. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Into the open. That's a gain of six. There's been no shortage of big plays today with this quarterback at the helm, Phil. Oh, my gosh. What an arm this quarterback has. How about these throws down the field? Not only they far down the field and beautiful, they're right on target. And the good thing is he has receivers who can take advantage of his arm. Coming up, second down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Handoff made. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And off the mark on that short throw. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The defense comes out of the dime. Second and ten. They're setting up screen. For a gain of about five. Nice roll that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Pryor comes out in the pistol. Third and five. Will go ground. And picks up seven. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Play number six coming up on this drive. First and goal. Back to the ground now on first down. Nothing really seems to be going right for this guy lately, Phil. He struggled to run the football last week, and he continues the same today. Yeah, it's all of the above, Jim. And what I mean by that, it's the running back's fault. It's the offensive line's fault. And let's give a little credit to the defense. They've done a good job stopping the run. Second and goal from the five. Gets away from the pressure. He's looking to the right here. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense. Just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. The Jaguars now going for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Jaguars ball hawking defense certainly set up that score. The interception, the good field position, and then the touchdown. The Colts are ready to return the kick. Hilton's going to test the coverage this time. Hilton is tackled down. The Colts are set now for their next possession. Offense lines up here. 
first and ten. Could have been intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Wayne's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and 10. And Houston with a near takeaway. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third down and 10. And he's going to be dropped with a sack, and they're going to be punting after a short series. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Pat McAfee now ready to punt. Lee's got a chance this time. And that's a gain of 10. They face first down. Prior set in the Flex pistol. Flex round. Let's go. Flex round. Flex round. The Jaguars pistol Flex set round. here. Complete to Lewis. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Pryor's going to be in the pistol here. Here we go. Huh. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 45. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. Urban, it's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Priors setting up now in the pistol. The Jaguars in the pistol. They'll go ground, trying to plow ahead, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. running it it's second down Come on, let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two. another carry here they are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring them down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage after that last run it sets up third and six made by Laurent Landry. Pryor's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the completion. First down here after the completion. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Picked up a couple that time. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. This throw heads out of bounds. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. Let's go. Justin Black 
Goodman hauls it in. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets a completion. First down on the way. Offense lines up here. There we go. Keeps it here. Going to try and scramble now. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This will be second down. Offense lines up here. Come on, let's go. Cut. Go run it. Here's the handoff. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage and a loss of one. huddle at the six this long drive continues Let's go. One, nine. One, nine. Uh. here is the first snap of the final quarter he's scrambling down brings it in for the score in the end zone terrible job that time by the defense third goal they're expecting pass, and they still can't stop it. This defense is just not fast enough to stop those touchdown passes. An extra point is good. The Colts are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score is 31 to 14. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. Richardson's going to test the coverage here. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. First down here. Coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Luck able to find Reggie Wayne. Looking ahead, the Jaguars will be on the road in San Diego next week, while the Colts will be playing at home next week. Second down after that pass play. Wayne's lined up now as a slot receiver. to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. They come out in the dime package. Andrew Luck in shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Cleaners shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. First down at the 34. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Wayne's lined up in the slot. The Colts have it at the 34. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. That is so tough to do. To be that close to these receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. Richardson lined up in the backfield. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Third and ten. Going for the home run. 
almost intercepted. On third downs, the defense knows in most situations it's going to be a pass, and let's give some credit to the defensive front. They pressure the QB, and they force the incompletion. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The defense comes out in the dime. The Colts have it at the 34. Reggie Wayne makes the catch. Uh, I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. First down at the 47. Luck throwing it long. And it's incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays. But he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Allen's move from the tight end position to the slot. From the gun. Luck slides and ends the play. Number 12, ball carrier. Game eight on the play. Third down now. The Jaguars. Go with the dime formation here on defense. Luck standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The Colts now move the chains. Both secondaries have really stepped up today, Phil. Yeah, they have. It's so hard to be a defensive back in the NFL to cover some of the fastest runners in the world to do that. And also, we know they can't touch them either, so they're having an outstanding day. First down at the 29. Luck finds Cleaner. Martin's there to make the stop. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. This has been a long drive so far. They're going back up top. Gets it out for the completion. And he'll step out of bounds. This is where on a defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Second and goal from the six. Setting up screen. The catch is made. Ozlozny's the one who made the big stop. The Jaguars lead right now, but of course a big reason why is that defense has shown up to play. Jim, to win in the NFL, you have to do all three phases of the game the right way. Offense, special teams, and that defense must show up every single week. Good job so far here today. Third and goal from the eight. He's got the catch, and that'll close the gap. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Jaguars will be back to return the kick. Still have a sizable lead here in this one. Scores 31 to 21. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. He's taken down at the 42. First down coming up. Bennett's in the slot. Hand off. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down now. Friars lining up in the pistol. On, let's go. One, 
To the right side. Jackson's in on the tackle. Now third and four following the run. Turbin takes his spot in the backfield. Ohio, 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 Ohio. Bennett's the receiver in the slot. And he takes off. Underneath and incomplete that time. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush. Gets outside the pocket. He keeps the play alive. Nobody open. So it's just another incomplete pass. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. Bennett's going to get set in the go. slot for this One, snap. Nine, the Jaguars from the 37. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. The Jaguars have stepped up on defense today, and Phil, this is a defense that has been very weak at times, but that's not the case today. Well, if you want to win a championship, it's not a cliche. Your defense has to play well, and one of the reasons why they're playing so well here today, the hustle by the players has been terrific. The Colts from the 37. Kobe Fleener hauls it in. The Jaguars have struggled to slow down the passing game all year, but not today, and it's helping them out here big time. Yeah, it is. You know, there's a lot of ways to slow down the passing game. You need a pass rush first. You got to have good coverage, and you need your coaches to give you lots of variables to keep the offense off guard. They've come out in the dime package. Second and six. Looks to his left. And the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way. And this game is all but over. As good as it gets. Touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side. And it's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. The Jaguars now will tack on the extra point. And the point after is good. The Colts are ready to return the kick. Hilton's going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Colts ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. Rodgers lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 22. That's Stanford to Stanford. Luck to Fleener. And he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. The Colts will take the snap from the 30. Throws to the right. It's Wayne. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league. So we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Vic Ballard is in the backfield. Luck will take the snap from the gun. Secures it with two hands. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. On the money, Kozlesny is going to make the tackle. And now they'll try over again on second down. Quickly to the line. Throws the pass. Luck's unable to find his target that time. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, 
And when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job and effort. The Colts take it from the 43. Complete to Allen. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The offense is back on the field here with fourth and three to go. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The Colts have it at the 39. Looking across the middle, this is going to set up a change of possession. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot, and the throw goes incomplete. The Jaguars ready now to start their next series. They'll take it here from the 39. Here we go! The Jaguars have it at the 39. Takes it on the counter. Tackle down right around the 48. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Second down. Pryor comes out in the pistol. Here we go! Jackson's all over that offense and brings him down. To that last run it sets up third and six and this will probably wrap things up here they'll run it here running to his right fights through contact and he is brought down at the 39 all right phil before we go tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now oh uh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game just think about it jim it's it's it would be like you playing around the golf and you know it's just you against one other guy and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match. And once you get it done, man, it, 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 it's a wonderful time. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now. And we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.